Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So now we have learned what is React and uh, about the React definition and all those things we have learned it. Now before starting the code, so I want you to set up the development environment. So whatever the development environment I am trying to do it, I will try to tell some of the extensions or the softwares which we need to which we need to have in order to run the React JS programs. So the first one, the editor which I will be using is the VS Code editor. So if you try to go into here, so this is the website for this one, code.visualstudio.com. So now here you will be able to see this one. So if you are already having this in uh, Visual Studio editor, it's okay, fine. Or otherwise, if you don't have, so if the Visual Studio code is available in all the operating systems like uh, Windows, Mac, and Linux. So you can able to download it. So here we need to download it and install the Visual Studio code. After installing this Visual Studio code, so we need to install the Node.js runtime. So here if you try to, oh sorry, not Node.js, yes, Node. So if you type in Google Node.js, you will be able to see here the Node.js thing. So here the current version right now at the time of this recording is the LTS version is 18.17.1. 20.5.1 is the current. So I recommend you to install the 18.17.1 LTS version. So this is recommended for most users. So after successfully downloading this one and installing the Node.js, so in order to check whether the Node.js is working or not, you can go to the terminal. So whatever the things, so I will be going to the terminal. So new terminal, you can go here and you can search for Node-V, okay. And now in my system, the current node version is installed is 18.16.0. And here the current version it is having is the 18.17.1. So it's not a problem. So it's mind you totally, right? So you can install this Node.js thing. So after completion of this Node.js, so we have installed the editor and also the Node.js. We need to go to the Visual Studio code. So here I will tell you some of the extensions which are necessary for the React.js. So if you go to the extensions here, so at the left side bottom, you'll be able to see the settings icon. And you, when you click on these settings, so here, uh, not, not settings, sorry. So here you'll be able to see the extensions. So here in these extensions, here I will be able to see all the extensions that are installed. The first one which I recommend you to install is the ESLint, okay? So if you press enter, here you'll be able to see in ESLint with the, uh, by the Microsoft. So what is this ESLint will do is ESLint will tell you about the linting errors, the debugging, uh, the code quality checks and all those things will be done by the using this ESLint. So I recommend you to install this one in our Visual Studio code. So after installing this ESLint, then I will suggest you to install Prettier. Okay, Prettier. If you try to see, I will be using all the time Prettier only in our, in our project, in our Visual Studio code. So this is the prettier code. So if you try to see here, this, this is around 35 lakhs or something like that is, is there. So I will suggest you to install this one. And uh, prettier is used to format the code. So the whatever the way you are writing the code, it will format the code. So it will support all the languages like JavaScript, TypeScript, Flow, JSX, JSON, everything it will try to support it. So after installing this uh, prettier, so for this icons, so if you try to see here, you'll be able to see the icons, right? For the HTML, you'll be able to see HTML5 icon. For NPM package, you'll be able to see NPM. So here for the React JSX, you'll be able to see the React icon. So this type of icons, if you want to get it, get is, then you can install extension that is material icon thing. Okay, material icon theme. So here you'll be able to see, this is the material icon thing icon theme so you can install this material icon theme then you will be able to get these all icons so here you will be able to see all the icons that are supported here so these type of icons you will be able to see in your thing so now these are the pretty much uh, extensions um, extensions needed at the time of starting of the development so furthermore if any extensions is needed or anything i will guide you in the course so these are the three things es linked prettier and also the material icon theme so after completion of this Visual Studio Code extensions, now we need to configure these all extensions. So how we can configure these extensions is, so we need to go to the settings, okay? 
so let's go to the settings so here if you try to see the settings you'll be able to see the settings i will i i don't want you to change these all the things so just i will tell you some common things which i will be using so first one is an auto save you can type here auto save directly and here this is the auto save okay so now whenever so here you will be able to have off option by default it is an off so whenever you are writing the code and you when you are moving from one tab to another tab okay so when you are moving from one tab to another tab the page will be automatically saved so there is no need to press the control s icon if you press the control s icon it's it's fine when you move from one tab to another tab it will be all automatically changed so here you will be able to see after delay focus change window change like this you'll be able to see it right so i you can keep it on focus change or otherwise you can keep it is off also so normal i am trying to explain you so this is one thing and the another one which i want to use which i want to tell you is the default formatter so by default you will be having some other formatter we have installed the prettier right so if you try if you press here default formatter and here you will be able to see uh, sorry default formatter default formatter here the editor default formatter and here you will be able to see lot of editors a lot of formatters you will be able to see so here i will suggest you to use the prettier code formatter so change this option to the prettier code formatter this is one thing which i will try to tell you and the another one is format on save okay so format on save so when you try to see this format on save try to tick this icon so by default this checkbox will not be checked so try to check this uh, checkbox so this one what it will try to do is whenever you are saving the visual studio code page automatically the default formatter which you have selected that is uh, we have selected prettier right the prettier formatter uh, automatically formats our code so that is one thing which i want to tell you and the another one which i will tell you is the eslint run okay eslint run so here if you see here <coughs> slint run yeah here so this one i by default it will be on type on type means whenever you type a single letter in the visual studio code automatically the es lint will run so this should not happen so whenever you try to save okay whenever you try to save automatically then the es lint has to check so this is one thing which i want to tell you why because all the time when you are typing without completion of the line itself eslint is throwing an error means it will be annoying for us so that is the reason on save it needs to tell the eslint errors so this is one option so these are something like the basic settings which i will try which i would try to tell you so before continuing into the react js development so these are the things so we ha I have told you some three uh, three extensions so if you want to have your uh, i uh, what i can say is color theme so you can have your own color theme so i so you can use your own thing so uh, if you want to set the color theme means so here you can go to the themes and in the color theme you can have it so i am using the dark mode on here so i am using the dark mode on. so i have so many themes here winter is coming solarized light material theme lighter like this i have so many things but i am using the mode dark mode so if you want to use it you can use it like this or otherwise we have some other color themes like uh, uh, we can say monokai theme so which will be something like uh, nice i think this one also you can do it one monokai theme yeah here so you can install this one and after installing this one so you can set it at the top so here you'll be able to see it right so this is the monokai theme okay whichever whichever is uh, suitable for you you can select it so there is no compilation on this one so the whichever is the what i can say is the font sizes and all those things whoever is comfortable with the font size and the color themes they can use their things some people will be interested in dark mode some people are interested in uh, not in dark mode in the lighter mode so white color background they will be interested so that is their own way of coding okay but these extensions what i have told you right prettier es lint these things install it for the time being then afterwards we will try to install one by one and after the settings which i have told you auto save default formatter format and save and yes lint run so these settings also you can see it so now we have successfully set up our development environment now it's time for us to code it so we'll try in the next video we will try to uh, install the react js and all those things we'll try to use it hope you understood about the system uh, development environment setup if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel Thank you.